and Bonnie, and I am bursting to share an astonishing Bible story with you. We're going to talk about two followers of Jesus named Paul and Silas. They were traveling all over to teach people about Jesus. They also faced a lot of really hard and scary things. In this story, they heal a young girl, but then they're attacked by a crowd of people and thrown in prison just for helping her. This might sound very sad and hopeless, to you, but Paul and Silas experience many surprising things. Even in a prison, Paul and Silas have hope and continue to praise God. Today's bubbling Bible story, full of unexpected twists and turns, is from the book of Acts, chapter 16. Paul and Silas traveled to an area just outside Philippi to teach people about Jesus. They did amazing things with the power of God, what we call the Holy Spirit. But some people didn't like it. And when Paul and Silas healed a young girl, her masters took them to the crowded marketplace to see the city rulers and accused them of causing trouble. The crowd around them started yelling ah! and attacking Paul and Silas. The rulers decided to have Paul and Silas thrown in prison. The prison guard was ordered by the rulers, keep watch over them and make sure they don't escape. Locked up in prison sounds pretty hopeless, right? Most people would be really scared or angry. It would be hard for anyone to feel joy or hope when they're locked up and they are in pain from all the cuts and bruises from the crowd attacking them. But Paul and Silas, they trusted that God was with them even in that scary prison. Very late at night, Paul and Silas started praying. Dear God, they said, and the other prisoners were listening. Paul said, God, you're so good. Silas said, yes. And God is with us even when we are hurting and feeling cold and alone. The words comforted the other prisoners. Then to praise God, Paul and Silas started singing songs they learned in church. Do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember me. Do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember. All of a sudden, a rumble shook the whole prison. Earthquake! It caused the prison doors to fall down and the chains fell right off the prisoners. Now they could escape. The earthquake had also woken up the prison guard. When he saw that the prison doors were gone, he was so worried he knew it would be his fault that the prisoners had escaped and he would be in so much trouble. But in a loud voice, Paul called out to the guard, don't be afraid, we are here. The guard trembled and he fell down before Paul and Silas with amazement. Then he took them outside and asked them, please teach me all about Jesus. He even took them to the, his house. He made them a meal. He helped them clean up their cuts and gave them bandages while listening to their stories. Those stories bubbled up inside the guard and changed his heart. After that, the guard and his whole family were baptized and welcomed into God's family. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. What an unexpected story. Paul and Silas were filled with hope and praised God, even in the scariest of situations. The most surprising part of this story is that Paul and Silas stayed in prison even after the earthquake made it possible for them to escape. But their faith and trusting God helped to change the guard's heart and all that of his families. One last thing I want to teach you today is how to say peace be with you in sign language. When we come back together at church, we still want to be careful not to share germs by shaking hand or high-fiving, so I thought it'd be fun to learn different ways to share God's peace. So try this with me. First, we sign peace, which is actually two different signs put together. We sign become, which is like this. You put your hands together and flip them over so they become another thing. So try that. And then we sign quiet. So just like that. Now we put those two together, meaning peace. Peace. Then we sign with. You put your fists together and kind of move them forward. With. And then we point to our friend and say you. Now we put them all together to make peace be with you. Peace be with you. And let's try it one more time. Peace be with you. Now the cool part is in church we usually reply with and also with you. In sign language we do this cool sign where we turn our hand into a Y and we point it from us to our friend and we shake it back and forth and that means and also with you or literally in sign language it means 
same thing. So when someone says, peace be with you, you can say, same, same. I hope you get a chance to practice this at home. We'll try again next week. Peace be with you this week.